Preparation is key to making this experience as stress-free as possible for your cat. Firstly, prepare the area. Obviously, a bathtub is a good place to bathe your cat, but small cats or kittens may feel more secure if they're bathed in a sink. You will need towels, cat shampoo, and a cup or handheld shower head for rinsing, and in some cases, a suit of armor. Brush your cat before washing. This removes dust and other particles, plus loosens tangles, which is especially important if you have a long-haired cat. Wet tangles are much worse to comb out than dry ones, and mats trap soapy residue next to their skin causing irritation, so it's definitely a good idea to remove these first. You can also take this opportunity to clip your cat's nails. This way you're less likely to get scratched, and your cat won't get their nails caught which would only increase their bath time distress. I like to play with my cats before any stressful events, such as taking them to the vet. I play with them actively to get rid of some of their energy, and then give them a few cat treats, or feed them so they're as relaxed and content as possible. You should also run the bath water before you put the cat in the bath. The water should be around 4 to 6 inches deep so it reaches the cat's underbelly and make sure the water's not too hot and not too cold. Then place the towel in the tub. This will give the cat something to grip on when it gets nervous. Ok, so now you're ready. Probably. All we need now is a cat. Closing the door to the bathroom will prevent any escapes then place your cat in the tub or sink while talking to them in soothing, encouraging tones. You'll more than likely have to hold your cat at this point, and if you have an extra human available, enlist their help. Gently wet the cat from neck to tail using the cup or shower head. Then add the shampoo and work in the same direction, starting at the neck and then working back. Remember, their chest, belly, legs and paws all need attention too. And you can use a damp washcloth to clean their face. Now it's time to rinse, and rinse, and rinse. Rinsing is the most important part of the process, especially if your cat has a long coat. Keep rinsing until all the soap is completely gone. Any leftover residue will irritate your cat's skin. After your cat is completely annoyed, I mean completely rinsed, it's time to get them dry. Towel dry them from head to paw using the towels to absorb as much water as possible. The more water you soak up, the less wet you and your surroundings will get when your cat starts to shake. If you have a hair dryer, you can set this on the lowest temperature and use it to speed up the drying process, if it doesn't scare your cat. And remember to have the room temperature at a comfortable level as well. The end result should be a nice, clean, fluffy cat. You will now have to spend the next two months trying to win back their affection, 